Welcome one and all to another fantastic Game Thrifter video. The one that started it all for me was last year and I did a video about the Xbox 360 and buying one in 2023. Well, we're towards the end of 2024 right now and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about buying an Xbox 360 in 2024 and even beyond. Is it worth it? Should you buy one? Is it easy to collect for? I hope to answer all of these questions for you in this video. And I'm going to showcase some fun video games as well, which is always a great thing. So the Xbox 360, the store is long gone. It's closed. Should you still buy one though? I think absolutely you should buy an Xbox 360. It's a great time to actually collect for these. Over 90% of the games physically that are available are relatively cheap the games at this particular generation played better the majority of the time on the xbox 360 and you can find games everywhere pawn shops flea markets thrift stores pretty much anywhere and and a lot of times you can find them for very very cheap and you know i think that people kind of underestimate how good of uh, of a way that is to collect games so hopefully this will answer some of your questions i can't wait to dive into this let's go ahead and get started now first it's probably a good idea to talk about the console models themselves there's a few different ones to choose from if you get the original models they're very much prone to red ring of death and issues they had a slim they had a slim arcade which didn't come with a hard drive but you can find hard drives very cheap and then you had the 360e which came out around the same time as the xbox one and kind of looks like a miniature xbox one now anything from the slim up is going to be your best bet and you're going to still probably have to change out uh, the battery clock and do some routine maintenance on these to keep them running but overall they are a fantastic console now there also happens to be a ton of limited edition consoles and this is where the fun comes in because I have quite a few of these. Now obviously the Simpsons one is a grail and you'll probably never find that but ones like the Modern Warfare 3 console, the Gears of War console, the, the, the um, Halo Reach console, the Halo 4 console and of course the Star Wars console which I actually own that one in very mint condition. These are fun to collect. They're going to cost you a little bit more, uh, but take out the Simpsons one because that one's like astronomical. But these other ones, you can usually get them for, you know, a couple hundred bucks or, or less, even the collector's editions one, right? Uh, so don't let them kind of fool you. So these are fun to collect for. And obviously these are the slim versions for the most part, which are all pretty much uh, well, well made and will last you a long time. Just keep up the maintenance, keep them ventilated and things like that. So, um, you know, if you're going to pick one up, I always say, hey, start maybe with the base one, the slim or get one of these uh, custom uh, or excuse me, limited edition models. So out of the box, there's clearly a lot of games that you can pick. But I, I, I started with Transformers Fall of Cybertron. This is one of my favorite games on the Xbox 360. Yes, it's a multi-platform game. Yes, I believe they did remasters of them on, on the next generation consoles, Xbox One and PS4. You can't get them digitally anymore, though. But you can get them physically, and I think they're cheaper if you buy on the Xbox 360 version. So for me, having a campaign where you can play as the Autobots, having Peter Cullen back as Optimus Prime, and having a story take place on Cybertron and getting to see and experience that, I thought was well worth the price of admission. And even though this might be a little bit more of an expensive game, uh, in terms of, you know, you're not going to find it for five bucks. You're probably going to find it uh, between 20 and 30. It's still a game that I feel should be in most people's collection. I thought that this was very well done. It's still a lot of fun to play. And most importantly, the gameplay holds up in 2024, which is, I think, the key point to the games that I'm going to point out here for people to kind of pick up if you're going to collect in 2024 or even beyond. You know, I love unique experiences, and the Xbox 360 had a lot of them, including Blur, which is a arcade-type racing game, sort of in the vein of Forza, but also has a tinge of Mario Kart built in. And I've talked about this game a couple other times, and it is one of the games that's probably on the more expensive side in terms of being able to kind of pick up. 
because it's probably around 25 30 bucks something in there for a complete copy which isn't too bad and there's a lot of fun to be had here obviously the multiplayer is no longer functional but this is still a very unique one-of-a-kind game if you're looking for sort of a game that's more realistic looking but has sort of a mario kart-esque feel to it then i always recommend this one because it's just one of those games that's still tied to you know the xbox 360 and ps3 they never updated it. They never brought it to any other platforms. And so it's still that unique game that's a lot of fun to have, even in 2024. So very highly recommend this game. Next up is a really collectible game called Wet. That's right, W-A-E-T. And the game stars the voice uh, of Elijah Dusku, who was actually in some cool stuff like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and bring it on and the new guy and various other kind of nerdy things or whatever but you know obviously this was a different point in time and the game really kind of speaks that and what i mean by that is this game is something you probably wouldn't get away with today over the top you know um violent sex all, all that kind of stuff the good stuff you know stuff that made video games fun and, and entertaining and it's just one of those things why i really really love uh, you know the Xbox 360 era just so much it's just such a fantastic time and there were so many unique games and this is one of the over-the-top arcadey actiony games that you can pick up and again this is one that's also maybe a little bit on the expensive side but I think it's well worth it and just a lot of fun to kind of put in and play for me anyway well worth the money well worth the time to play through it and collect if you're going to get an xbox 360 and to this day still tied to the to the 360 and ps3 so keep that in mind as well uh just a ton of fun one of the cool things about collecting for the xbox 360 is a good number of games will actually work on a current xbox series x or even an xbox one if you're so inclined so it's always fun to be able to take your library with you unfortunately you know you can't take the digital stuff with you but lost odyssey is a game that's backwards compatible on the xbox one xbox series x and so if you buy the physical copy you can play it and it's a great jrpg in fact it's an exclusive uh, Xbox RPG and one of the better ones as well uh, back in the day on the 360 Microsoft really tried to gain a foothold in Japan and this was one of the games that they kind of went after to do that Blue Dragon being another one they had a few others as well you know it's just a very tough place to break into uh, if you're a bit of an outsider and I think people were really just enamored with you know playstation and nintendo at that time and so obviously we don't see stuff like this anymore from microsoft but i would love to see something like this nowadays but still for the 360 great game to collect for backwards compatible a lot of fun to play you're going to get your money's worth here it's four discs on the xbox 360. so we've got a bit of a twofer here and that is halo reach and call of duty modern warfare 2 yes the original modern warfare 2 now the interesting thing here is obviously you could play reach on newer consoles as well but there's just something fun about collecting the halo games on the 360 there's a lot of them there's halo 3 halo 4 halo odst halo reach so you know there's halo 1 anniversary there's a there's halo wars and the list keeps going on and on so they're fun to collect and play on the xbox 360 as for call of duty modern warfare fair 2 it's a fantastic game it still holds up and you can still play the multiplayer and it's backwards compatible so you can play the multiplayer if you have a, a xbox series x you can play it on that as well xbox one and it plays uh really well on that platform or you could just play it on your 360 with the 360 controller i sometimes still like to play the old call of duty games on the 360 still because there's still a community there due to backwards compatibility so that's always a fun thing to kind of look at as an added bonus when you're buying games when you're collecting games and things like that sadly you can't play halo reach online anymore on the 360 but still a great campaign and a great game to collect and there's even a collector's edition that's quite sought after as well uh that, that i highly recommend now, if you're looking for a game to sink hours and hours of fun into, Red Dead Redemption would be that game. It's still an amazing game on the Xbox 360, and guess what? It's backwards compatible on Xbox One and Xbox Series X. So I like to collect 
the Rockstar games as well. And I thought Red Dead Redemption was such a great game. There's even the uh, the this, the expansion that works as well and is backwards compatible. So if you play it backwards compatible, it works even better uh, than it does stock on the Series X. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. I believe it plays great on the Xbox One X. But this is like Rockstar at their peak in my opinion. And it's such a good game. And just one of those games where you can get it pretty cheap and just sink hundreds of hours into it. There is so much content, side quests, story elements, just different things to do in this game that you'll be busy for a very, very long time. And I always suggest this game to people looking to get into collecting for the Xbox 360. I'm trying to keep everybody guessing on my list. So next up is Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. Now, this is a fantastic game very much went under the radar when it released it actually comes with escape from butcher bay as well fun to collect i don't think they're very expensive unfortunately they're not backwards compatible but they are locked to that generation of consoles xbox 360 and playstation 3 so i think the 360 version plays a little bit better uh has a little bit steadier frame rate and things like that uh, i own both but yeah i highly recommend this game you know vin diesel voices riddick in the game it's it's such a, a great world and you know the stealth action type of genre i think is really pulled off well here so i always recommend the chronicles of riddick game like if you were to get an original xbox i'd say escape from butcher bay is one of the best games on there and this game has that as well as uh, assault on dark athena so really really fantastic games give them a try uh, it kind of goes from first person to third person when you're doing things but you know some puzzle elements some great voice acting a really cool story uh just i can't recommend it enough uh so pick it up if you've watched this channel you probably knew that this was coming but batman arkham origins is like an unsung hero in my opinion and it is so much fun but a lot of people disregard it i think even wb because it's not a rock steady made game but still i feel like it has that kind of rock steady ambiance to it and it has some of the best boss fights in the entire arkham universe they did a fantastic job with this game yes i get it it's not kevin conroy as batman it's not mark hamill as the joker but they're the versions that they have in here is younger and they sound amazing the voice acting is great the gameplay is phenomenal. I just feel like this game is a victim of not being a rock steady game. And it's also a victim of coming out late in the 360 PS3 life cycle. But there's good news if you're an Xbox 360 collector. If you have the physical disc, you can play that via backwards compatibility in an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X. Now digitally, you can't. But physically, you can, and that makes this game a little bit more on the pricey side on the Xbox, but still well worth it because there's amazing Arkham games that you can pick up on the 360, and there's three of them, and all three of them are amazing. Next up is a fun game called Ninja Blade. Now, we know from software because they've done stuff like Elden Ring and the Phenomenal Soul series, but they actually did Ninja Blade, and this was a Xbox 360 console exclusive and i guess it still is you know we've never seen an update for it or a sequel or anything like that but this game sort of reminds me of if you had ninja gaiden and you also mixed it with some resident evil and things like that it's got a lot of you know qtes and things but fighting like these zombie type monsters and things like that it's, it's just a lot of fun yes it's got the difficulty up there so be prepared for that i also just feel like it is a really good looking game and you know obviously this one's not backwards compatible but if you're looking for games to collect then i always like to point out the ones that are like still tied to the platform and things like that and this is one of them so you know highly recommend it i think it's a it's a really fun game it's a really unheralded game not a lot of people know about it but yeah from software game uh definitely pick it up if you can come across it and uh, let me know what you think if you do let me know if you like it speaking of ninja games obviously metal gear rising vengeance was going to be on the list now this is a cool one because it is backwards compatible but it is so much fun you know playing this game i only recently got into this game i'd say within the last couple of years but it is one of those games that is just a blast and a lot of people 
like maybe think that it's like one of the other Metal Gear games, like Metal Gear Solid. It's a different developer, and you know, I feel like they really kind of nailed this game. It's like a completely different type of animal as compared to like the stealth games and things like that. So, you know, I, I honestly think they they do such a good job with this, and I would love to see other people's reactions to it because to me this is like a sort of a hidden gem uh but the fact that it's backwards compatible uh means that you know obviously you can take it with you if you choose to do so so i think that's always cool and you know i, I like to see that fans are kind of coming together and saying hey you know i remember this game i love that in the comments when people go yeah i love that game so if you love it let me know but i definitely think it's well worth picking up in 2024 so i'm very excited about the new fable game that's going to come out next year supposedly but fable 2 and fable 3 respectively are amazing games on the xbox 360 and yes they're backwards compatible but they're also cheap to buy physical versions of the game and i always say hey the physical hunt for the media is part of the thrill of collecting and so yeah you can get these games other ways you can steal them you can pirate them you can emulate them or whatever but for me nothing quite like finding these games out in the wild and that's the fun for me and fable 2 is maybe one of the best rpgs ever made in my humble opinion fable 3 took a couple steps back but it's still a fun game the way that they let you handle it i felt it was a little bit rushed but still a fantastic experience and one that i highly recommend to anybody looking to you know get into you know xbox 360 games and game collection so yeah like i definitely for me anyway just look at this as fantastic games uh there's even the fable 1 remake which is really good as well in my opinion but fable 2 and 3 are must have for collectors i feel like gears of war 3 might be my favorite game on the 360 i just am such a gears of war fan and there's just nothing quite like it i mean you can play four player co-op you know it's got so many fun uh, game modes to it. It's even the online is still active. It's still got uh, players. It's easy to find a game. Uh, it's backwards compatible. It's got all the stuff. It's got DLC that makes it even that much better. It's got all the things that realistically would make for a great game. And for me, the fact that it's four player co op and I have so many great memories playing through it with my friends and things like that, I think that's what makes you know Gears of War such an enamoring series. And the first three games. Uh, which were some of the greatest of all time, in my humble opinion. You might disagree, but I love it. And, you know, the fact that they're backwards compatible and you can pick them up and there's collector's editions and all that kind of stuff. I just love that about it, you know. And, and so Gears of War 3 is the, the spot here, but it could easily be one or two as well. In fact, all three are simply amazing. And I highly suggest that to any collectors uh, picking up these games, uh, even in 2024. So there's a nice little list of games to collect for the Xbox 360. Is the Xbox 360 worth picking up in 2024? Absolutely, yes, it is. For me, it's fun to collect. I collect for it all the time still. I have hundreds, actually I have over a thousand games for the Xbox 360. It's just one of those consoles that keeps going and going and going. Yes, the digital store is gone, but if you ever bought digital content, digital games, DLC, whatever from Microsoft on the store, you can still download that. As long as you have your account, you can still download all the stuff that you've bought in the past, even though the store is not there. So keep that in mind. It's not all totally lost or anything like that. And you can still play multiplayer games if the servers are still up. You can still earn achievements that add to your current gamer score. Uh, you know, there's a lot of collector's editions, a lot of limited editions. It's, it's just really a great platform to buy for. And the perfect time to get into it is right now. So, yes, by all means, buy that 360. Buy those 360 games. I'll catch you next time. Until then, have a great day and game on, my friends.